I think she wants to be known for and is known as someone who is a champion for justice and fairness. And that's by design. She is deeply committed to social justice issues. I like the fact that Gwen has always been ready to stand up and stand tall and speak out. There were times and situations where people could not, they didn't know how to fight the system. They didn't know, they didn't have the ability to speak up against the mayor or council or a group of citizens. But Gwen would stand there, knowledgeable, intelligent, well-spoken, and address the issues pointedly. Not afraid, not ashamed, not in anger, but with knowledge and wisdom and background information, facts. She's um, someone who is a straight shooter, very direct, and she does not suffer fools. She gives people a voice to speak. And if you whisper to her, she'll be your louder voice. I like to be judged or respected for being honest and being courageous enough to say what needs to be said, do what needs to be done. I try to put community first, issues first, change first. She's very qualified, well-read, very intellectual, a lady full of wisdom, and she's there to help us. She's not afraid. She will speak up. If you reach out, please help me. Gwen says, well, let me see how I can. Gwen is a very principled person, and she has a, a deep sense of fairness and justice. And uh, it's that drive that has made probably our city a better place and our country a better place. I decided, my mind was made up, that I was going to tell the truth as I know it and live with those consequences because I'd much rather get up every day and look in the mirror and know that I've been true to myself and true to my community than to play games and to try to make people feel comfortable when comfort does not necessarily get progress. She's always reached out to help others in the community. She was never selfish about it. And another great thing about it, she's always so classy and dresses so well. That's nothing new with Gwen. Gwen doesn't make it a practice to try to curry favor with everybody. And so she probably doesn't get as many of these awards as she probably deserves. Honestly, I am uh, humbled to be the recipient of the Rosa Parks Award. I mean, certainly I have devoted my life to serving my community, but I don't know that my work ever rises to the level of Rosa Parks. So I just am, you know, in awe and um, most definitely humbled and appreciative of this honor. <laughs>